Welcome back to Android Authority's Q&A. My name is Jace, and this is where we try and answer your most pressing Android questions, like, how do I fix this? A charger that doesn't charge. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Don't, don't, don't touch it. Don't breathe on it. So let's talk about a real popular question. The most recent comes from Ape the Ape 9 and Abdul, where they ask, hey, what is a 64-bit processor? What does it mean? And what does it mean for me and any future phone I might buy? All right, let's say that this device is like a great library. And this library is commanded by a librarian. But this librarian has 32 assistants. Now, for example, if someone comes into this great library and says, hey, give me all your books on dinosaurs, for example, those 32 assistants are now tasked with retrieving each of those books. Now, each assistant can only take one book. Therefore, to retrieve all 64 books, the assistants have to make two trips each. But what if that librarian had 64 assistants? Those assistants could make that trip in, in one cycle. So, and that would significantly increase the speed of your device or the library in this metaphor but it's not exactly that simple. So I know that some of you computer science engineers out there are groaning because I've simplified this metaphor quite a bit, but for the purposes of explaining in a couple minutes, the librarian is the CPU. Those 32 assistants are the bits, a 32-bit processor. But if it has 64 bits, it can almost double the amount of uh, uh, data that it can retrieve and, and doubling the time, kind of, because there's other factors that play here. There's two. One is RAM. Now, most of you who know a little bit about 64-bit uh, processors are going to know that it needs more than 3.2 gigs of RAM to really utilize that 64-bit processor. It's going to need at least four, ideally six. Now, the rumored uh, Samsung Galaxy S5, against rumored, um, is rumored to have at least four gigs with its 64-bit uh, processor. So. It, it could help, yes, uh, but it's still a lot more processing power than the gigs and then the RAM can sustain, right? So there's a bit of a bottleneck there. But I will tell you that the other major factor is the fact that there's almost no programs out there that support 64-bit processor. Now, take some comfort in the fact that when this happened in Windows PCs, um, I remember the last time I uh, built my, my latest PC rig, they, there was just this push to change from 32-bit to 64-bit, and there was only two games that I could play that were 64-bit um, supported. But that changed within you know 18 months. So bottom line is, what does it mean for you? Well, it doesn't mean much now. It's overkill now, but in 18 to two, 18 months to two years, that could mean you could could utilize some wicked programs that would support that 64-bit uh, power. For those of you who love this stuff, there's two links below that goes into a deeper one from Reddit and one from Stack Overflow. Enjoy. Now moving on to Manar. Manar asks, hey, I want to convince my mother to change from iOS to Android. Which phone should she get? Well, if you think she's really ready for the move, ask yourself the question, what do iOS users really like about iOS? It's a simple, quick user experience, even though it may be a restricted user experience. And what phone is doing that really well right now? The Moto X with the voice commands, the it's 4.7 big, but not too big. It's really doing fantastic. And at 350 off contract, you really can't go wrong. Now, if price is a concern, you consider the Moto G, although it's a little underpowered at 179 off contract, you can't go wrong. Go mom. All right, guys, how many of us had this problem where we've had to prop or tape up our charger just so we get the right charger properly? I mean, this is overkill for effect, but uh, we've most of us have had this problem. So I did find a fix for this right here on YouTube. There's a gentleman who uh, has a channel that um, has a couple videos where he gives you a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to clean the charge port in there because it turns out that it, it, for the most part, that's the source of the problem. It's not an electronic malfunction per se, but it's just a bunch of soot and grime in the charge port that can be cleaned with common household tools that you can um, you know, employ yourself. So be warned though, you can damage your device and even hurt yourself. So follow the guide step by step. Be careful. If there's any of you who use it and it works or it doesn't work, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. So after reading all your comments, I noticed that there is a number of Samsung Galaxy S3 and S4 users who are lusting after KitKat 4.4 and have yet to receive the update. So 
If you're impatient, you can't wait. There is a video in the links below that gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 S4 to get 4.4 KitKat now. But I also saw someone who said, don't believe anything Jason says because I've rooted multiple devices and never had a problem. It's not dangerous. Okay, don't be stupid. Use common sense. There's two things that are undisputable fact. One, you do void your warranty. Two, you can brick your phone. It can happen. Most of the people it doesn't, but it can happen. So, you know, be forewarned, know what you're getting into before you do it. Let me know how it works. So guys, before we go, I just want to ask you a question about what you want to see here on Android Authority. We do, you know, a number of different things, news, reviews, drop tests, lots of geeky stuff. What else do you want to see? Like someone suggested about doing a myths on Android series, Android versus iOS, uh, you know, uh, moving, migrating from iOS to Android guide, are those kind of things that you'd like to see. Tell us what you'd like to see and like them. When you guys put questions for uh, the Q&A or in the uh, Android Weekly and a lot of people you know, thumb them up, I'm much more likely to take those on and address them in the next show. See you later. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Lie in the morning.